The government team that is traveling to Geneva comprises of Justice Minister Mutula Kilonzo, Internal Security Minister Professor John Saitoti, and Attorney General Amos Wako. The team is expected to put up a spirited defense of the Kenyan government when it appears before the UN Human Rights Council on Wednesday. But the old question is with us yet again. Which government will they be speaking for? It may require ODM to send a delegation to Geneva. So that those who are trying to wipe out history do not succeed in what they are trying to do. According to ODM, the Alliston report which accuses the police of harboring death squads and calls for the resignation of police commissioner and attorney general reflects the true situation in the country. But speaking to Citizen TV, Mutula first dismissed ODM concerns about the composition of the delegation. I have no problem if ODM feels that they need to have a voice. In Geneva, let them be honest uh, with the, the country. ODM had demanded that the matter be discussed in the cabinet before the government took a position and even threatened to send its own team to Geneva. It's possible that they will not be given an opportunity even to say anything uh, because even the official government uh, representatives will be lucky to get 10 minutes. Mutula called on Kenyan leaders to speak with the same voice to stop portraying Kenya as a divided house. Because a divided house falls uh, when it comes to factual presentation where a huge political party, a major political party in the coalition government starts saying that the, our reaction does, is not representative. And they are not talking about what comments have been put. For now, even as the president assured that all was well within the coalition, all eyes will once again be on the two principles to see how they will resolve this fresh standoff. Michael Njenga reporting for Citizen TV.